Good morning. The reactions to the UK election is fantastic. It's inspiring. It reminds me of why we are doing this. Yeah. And I can tell you, I still today go back and watch the US media reactions to the Trump victory in 2016. I still watch it sometimes. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best entertainment you can ask for. And it's inspiring, as I said. Yeah. Swedish media, they are hilarious. They don't like this result at all. They don't like Boris Johnson, see? Uh, first of all, he's a friend of Donald Trump. And according to Swedish media, Boris Johnson is an Islamophobe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they are surprised. They are like surprised children in Swedish media. They are trying to hold on to something now and stop things from shaking. Yeah. They don't like this. And the EU, their reaction is priceless. You remember the EU, how they treated the UK for, for years. Yeah. Very poorly. Yeah. And now it's a very different tone. Now they are all great friends. Yeah, we are good friends. That's what they say now in Brussels. All this uh, tough talk is gone. You don't hear Macron spreading his vile comments anymore. Now we should be friends, yeah. And uh, of course, they have a lot to lose here. They already lost a lot of money because of the UK leaving. But the business, that's the thing, you see. Yeah. And especially German business. That's the thing. They need to protect this. The EU is basically a German thing. Yeah. And they want to trade with the UK. It's a big market, you see. So now they are best friends. Hmm. Assholes. All right. And you know, Boris Johnson, uh, the Swedish media, they think he's an Islamophobe. And this is because of his comments. Uh, back in 2005, he said, it's only natural for the public to be scared of Islam. He said this already in 2005. Yeah. And media, they know this guy is an Islamophobe. He's right about this, of course, but uh, that doesn't matter. That's besides the point, you know, but he's right. Okay, he also said, he said this last year, I'm sure many of you remember this, Boris Johnson said he was comparing Muslim women to letterboxes and bank robbers. And uh, he never apologized, never took it back, you see. So uh, yeah, they know it. He's an Islamophobe. Well, they do. I think so too. Yeah. They look like letterboxes. Right. And now British Muslims apparently started the process of leaving the UK. Well, there's a lot of talk about it, at least. Hmm. Because of personal safety. Uh, here's an example. Uh, head of a Muslim charity in Manchester says, I'm scared for my personal security. I worry about my children's future. And here's another one. Faiza tweeting, since Boris Johnson won a majority, I've had five different families discuss their UK exit plan with me in case racism gets worse, frightening that this is where we are. Hmm. And I have some very, very sad news. This is about Lily Allen. She's an English uh, singer and songwriter. She has deleted her Twitter account. Yeah, very sad, isn't it? Uh, she claimed that Boris Johnson's general election win is down to deep-rooted racism and misogyny in Britain. Hmm. After the Conservatives won this majority, big majority, this uh, great pop star, Lily Allen, said, she made the decision. And this is about free speech, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the UK with free speech. 
when you have this Boris Johnson guy talking about letter boxes, right? UK has been uh, very strong on fighting free speech lately. See if there's, there's going to be a change here. Yeah, Lily Allen, she says, uh, Twitter has given a voice to the far right. Well, the thing is, free speech did this. Yeah, because people talk to each other, that's what gave this result. It's because of people like Nigel Farage, you see, and people tweeting, doing videos, talking to each other. That's uh, what gave this uh, Labour Party this big loss. Yeah. So it's free speech. That's what it is. And Twitter given a voice, a voice to the far right. Wow. <laughs> it's given people a voice. That's the thing. And it didn't even do it. You know, Twitter, they deleted uh, Tommy Robinson. They did. And a lot of others. So uh, I'm sorry, Lily Allen. Uh, this is reality. All right. That's all. Good times. All right. Bye.